Beginning in March, DC Comics will change Superman's traditional red and blue costume to a new form-fitting bodysuit. The problem with the old costume? Not gay enough. <laughs> I need heaven, resort. I need an all-inclusive when I die. That's what I need. So all the resort religions, you gotta hate gay people. That's part of the religion for some reason. And it's like, I can't hate you if I haven't tried it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think I like dick, but it's a hunch. You know, it's... I'm not certain. It's a hypothesis I'm really not willing to test, you know? I had a friend, he was like, I know I don't like dick. I was like, you know you don't like dick? <laughs> what you mean you know? You tasted it? What's the flavor? What's the flavor of dick? Is it cilantro? Because then I don't like that shit neither. Because that would clear up a lot of shit. <laughs> we act like gay sex is so fucking crazy, so foreign, right? Is it really that foreign? I like girl butt. <laughs> Probably not that different from dude butt. <laughs> Maybe a few less hairs in it, hopefully. I'll take it one step further. I like touching my dick. <laughs> Ain't a man in this room that could look me in the eyes and say they don't enjoy touching dick. Matter of fact, you've been enjoying touching dick longer than you've been touching pussy. That's a fact. You gonna go and judge the next man just because he's less selfish than you? Fuck you. And now it's time for Weekend Update's movie reviews. This week I saw Interview with the Vampire. And here's, here's my review. Um, not gay enough. I got a lot of fears, man. I got a lot of fears as a parent. I'm gonna tell you guys one of my biggest fears. One of my biggest fears is my son growing up and being gay. That's a fear. Keep in mind, I'm not homophobic. I have nothing against gay people. Be happy, do what you want to do. But me being a heterosexual male, if I can prevent my son from being gay, I will. Now, with that being said, I don't know if I handle my son's first gay moment correctly. Like, every kid has a gay moment, okay? Every kid. But when it happens, you gotta nip it in the bud. You gotta stop it right then. Hey, stop, that's gay. It's quick. No. I don't know. I don't know if I handle my son's situation right, okay? He's at a birthday party, right? My son had a birthday party, he's playing. You know when kids play, they just play. You don't know what they're doing, but they're having a good time. They're just doing a bunch of stuff, right? They're moving around. I said, okay, he's good. I finished talking, I turned back around to check on my son again. A little boy was grinding on my son's ass. He was, he was like this. I, I didn't know what to do, I panicked, I knocked them both down. Hey, hey, what's going on here? What kind of party is this? Huh? What kind of party is this? What's going on here? This lady came out. She's like, what are you doing? They kids, let them play. I said, well, you show me another kid getting fucked in the ass and I'll calm down. <laughs> My son had on corduroys. That's why I had an attitude. Because I didn't see it. I heard it. All I heard was... Rrr, rrr, rrr. I said, what the... Who the hell is playing cards? What is that? Is somebody shuffling cards? They're too young for spades here. <laughs> the thing that pissed me off, here's what pissed me off, man. I was eating a buffalo wing when it happened. <laughs> I should have dropped the wing and ran over there, but I licked my fingers first. I, I didn't mean it. I said, hey, boy. <laughs> in overseas news, an attempt to lift the ban on gays serving in the British Armed Forces has been defeated in Parliament. This raises a difficult legal question. How do you exactly tell if a British guy is gay? <laughs> I never understood people uh, uh, judging people for the way they have sex. So some people get angry at homosexuals just for being gay. They get mad at them. Arr! I never really understood that, you know, like, like, because they're just having sex with each other. It's like, like, I can understand if gay people were just running out in the streets, just fucking people in the ass willy-nilly, just like a pestilence, like without asking, you know, like you're at the ATM. Hey, what the fuck? Jesus. God damn it. Some faggot just fucked me right in the ass. Seriously. <laughs> fucking right through my pants. He fucking ruined my new pants. It's fucking bullshit. Another one. God damn it. I gotta get the fuck home. This is ridiculous.
but they generally don't do that, so I don't know what the fucking problem is. People get mad. They don't want to get, don't get married. Well, you don't have to go to the wedding. What the fuck? You don't have to buy him anything? It doesn't matter. So, some people go like, well, then a guy will marry his dog. Good. Fucking, I hope he blows his dog. Who gives a shit? It doesn't matter. It doesn't have any effect on your life. What the fuck do you care? Or people that try to think, they talk like, like it's a social issue. Like when you see someone stand up on a, in a talk show and say, like, how am I supposed to explain to my child that two men are getting married? I don't know, it's your shitty kid, you fucking tell him. Why is that anyone else's problem? Two guys are in love, but they can't get married because you don't want to talk to your ugly child for fucking five minutes? Who fucking cares about your shitty kid? He's probably a faggot anyway. How stupid is that? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. I don't know. The only, the only um, thing that uh, bums me out, though, is that you're not, you're not supposed to laugh at gay people when they're funny. Because sometimes they just are. They're funny. Like, I lived in New York for a lot of my life, and in my neighborhood, everybody was gay. And, and it, it, you know, some guys are just a guy walking down the street, but some gay guys are a guy in little shorts and a half shirt and, you know, combat boots spray-painted green and a uh, whistle, and he's standing on the corner going, Hello, it's fucking hot outside. Those, that's not a stereotype. Those guys fucking exist by the thousands. And when I see them, I laugh really loud. I just do. And people are like, don't laugh at him because he's gay. No, I'm not. I'm laughing because he's fucking weird and silly. He's hilarious. How am I supposed to react? Hello? Oh, hello. Hello, yes. Seriousness. Is, yes. It's stupid. <clears throat> the only... The, actually... The one guy I would blow, uh, based, on, based on who he is, is Ewan McGregor. That it, there is this one guy out there. I gotta say that I have no gay inclinations except for I met this fucking dude in person. I was say, working on some award show and there he's standing right there and I was like, fuck! Like I was just blown away. Like Jesus Christ, he's fucking beautiful. <laughs> And he looked at me and he was like, hello. And I was like, I fucking shivered. Like, I started shivering. Like, fuck. It's fucking gorgeous. And like a week later, I was just, I was like staring off into space somewhere. And I realized, fuck, I was just daydreaming about you and McGregor. <laughs> like, seriously, I'm not gay in any other way except for I want to fuck that guy right in the face. I totally want to fuck his face. I want to fuck the shit out of his face. I want him to fuck me. I do. I want him to fuck me. Well, it's the last show. Here we are. Los Angeles. The world capital of rape and dick breath. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck has been going on out here? Keeps getting worse, but it's just what you think it can't get worse. They got Charlie Rose today. <laughs> it's gonna be a quiet morning on the news tomorrow. <laughs> Charlie Rose, who's next, Captain Kangaroo? <laughs> Everybody is raping like hot cakes. I, for one, am starting to get worried. You know, I've been in show business 30 years. I had no idea how much danger I was in. <laughs> it's really some scary shit. I gotta tell you, Harvey Weinstein's probably the first person that I ever looked at a photograph of and was like, yeah, he rapes. <laughs> not a handsome man. Not a lot of meat and extra skin on his face. <laughs> yeah, he's ugly. You know, the sad part is, he's done so well in life, he probably doesn't know he's ugly. You know, when you're good looking, everybody will tell you, oh, you look wonderful, you're so great looking. But when you're ugly, you gotta figure that shit out for yourself. <laughs> it's a lot of putting clues together through the years. Why am I not getting in the club? I got all the right shit on. <laughs> Because if it was Brad Pitt doing that shit, he wouldn't hurt a peep. 
girl would just come back down like, I got the part. <laughs> yeah. And yet, and yet, it is important that I acknowledge, ladies, you are absolutely right. There you go. And you gotta all be mindful of that, guys, because uh, this could happen to any of us. It could happen to me. I can see that. My 3 a.m. with Mr. Weinstein. <laughs>